Ja, hallo, guten Abend. Deutsch 11.02 bei LSU. Hier ist Dr. Dettinger mit einem Video, diesmal über Imperfekt. Wir sind jetzt bei Welten 8. Yasemin Tankut. Welcome back. Online German 1102, Summer 2019. Dr. D back here with another video this time. We're going to go over the imperfect, the simple past tense. It's going to be a three uh, part video breaking down uh, some of the, the basics of simple past or imperfect. Uh, this is auch preteritum. Okay, so we have imperfect and preteritum uh, as two different German ways to express this and also the simple past in English. Now, you've already been uh, introduced to this in 1101 with the simple past forms of haben and sein, hatte, war, and then also briefly on some of the modal verben. So we're going to go through those as the first segment of this as a review. Second segment will focus mostly on the regular and irregular verbs and how they break down in their simple past forms. And then the third video will focus on using some ways to express past tense um, with three different ways to say when. Yeah, gut. Also, beginnen wir dann. Hier ein paar Beispiele. Uh, and just to reiterate, uh, the simple past is used to review, to describe events that occurred in the past, right? So... It isn't the only simple, it isn't the only past tense that's in German. There's also the present perfect, which we did uh, a lot near the end of 1101. Okay, this is the conversational past. Ich habe meine Hausaufgaben gemacht. Ich habe in der Bibliothek gelernt. Um, wir sind uh, nach München geflogen. Things like this, right? Most of the time, a conversation that's in the past tense is going to use that past tense. Um, but it's not to say that you can't use the simple past in past tense conversation. It's just more usual to use the, the present perfect. Ich habe gemacht, ich bin gegangen, etc. Now, I will say that using the modal verbs and verbs such as haben and sein, which we have examples of here on this page, it is more common to use the simple past forms of these verbs in conversation. Okay, but it doesn't necessarily exclude all other verbs and their use in the simple past in a conversation. It's just more common to see them in written formats. So we'll get to these momentarily. So we have on the, on the left-hand side, the present tense ways to use haben, uh, or sorry, sein, and then haben, and then a modal verb. Uh, auf der rechten Seite, imperfect, ich war gestern zu Hause, gestern hatte ich eine Prüfung, und dann... Ich konnte gestern Abend nicht ins Kino. Okay, so this modal verb, I don't necessarily need to have verb to at the very end, after ins Kino, though it, it is implied that it's gehen. Ich konnte gestern Abend nicht ins Kino gehen. Okay, um, because we have the prepositional phrase ins Kino here, it means to the movies. Okay, also, schauen wir mal hier. And I'm going to go through these tables somewhat quickly. This is our chart on how to conjugate the verb haben. Ich hatte, du hattest, sie hatten, er sie es hatte, wir hatten, ihr hattet und sie hatten. And then as a note, uh, first and third persons are the same. Ich hatte und er sie es hatte. Gut. Simple past form of sein. Ich war, du warst, sie waren. Er, sie, es war, wir waren, ihr wart, sie waren. Und noch einmal, erste Person, ich, dritte Person, er, sie, es, ist das Gleiche. Ich war und er, sie, es, war. Okay. So now we have können. Okay, and this is one example. Um, so there's a lot on this page. So let's start at the very top, breaking down how you would conjugate können. And once you figure out one of these, it's similar to their present tense. Um, conjugations. Once you figure out one, you should be good on the rest. Ich konnte, du konntest, sie konnten, er, sie, es konnte, wir konnten, ihr konntet und sie konnten. Uh, and notice too, um, the root is kon, K-O, right? N-N. And then we had a T to the end of that root. All right? And then followed by 
the proper pronoun endings. Conte, contest, conten, conta. And then notice again, first and third person, each one as he has, conta, right? And below then we have a chart of putting all these together. Uh, and I, I put the first person conjugation of all these verbs, können, müssen, wollen, dürfen, sollen, und mögen. Uh, but remember that third person as he has is going to match this exact same. And then also the rest of the conjugations for the formal Z and then the plurals wir, ihr, and Z will be the same endings as they are in the chart above. So let's look at this. Ich konnte, ich musste, ich wollte, ich durfte, ich sollte und ich mochte. Okay? We go on to this next one. We have two examples here. Notice the first one and the difference in this compared to the second one. We have Sebastian and Volker having a conversation here. Sebastian asks, Warum bist du nicht auf Katis Party gegangen? And Volker responds, Tja, ich wollte auf die Party gehen, aber ich konnte nicht. Ich musste arbeiten. Okay, so here, um, notice that the first question is used in the conversational past, whereas the second is in the imperfect, okay? And that just is an example to show you that you can use both, right? But it was more common to use the perfect in the first one because it wasn't haben or sein. We're looking at the verb gegangen there, which is the, the, the participe of the verb gehen, all right? Uh, so we use the present perfect form for this, but then Volke responded using the modal verben. Yeah, ich wollte auf die Party gehen, aber ich konnte nicht. Ich musste arbeiten. And again, it was implied for the second sentence, that he, the second part of the sentence, aber ich konnte nicht, right? It's implied that he was saying, I couldn't go. Ich konnte nicht gehen. But I don't need to say gehen here because it's implied. Okay, also. Um, we're actually going to cut it off there uh, before going on to the second part of the video where we're going to break down about the regular and irregular verbs. So that's all für dieses Video. Wenn Sie Fragen haben, bitte schreiben Sie mir eine E-Mail. Dankeschön und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.